my guys. Uh, we're over at the uh, vertical bandsaw. Uh, vertical bandsaw can be a really, really cool piece of equipment. You guys really want to know how to use this. Uh, it uh, operates by being a continuous piece of blade welded into a circle that is then fed around these two wheels and it's just a continuous feed of the blade and you're able to use this to cut uh, all kinds of different shapes. Very, very nice tool. Uh, this wheel is how you move this wheel up and down so that you can put the blade on and take it off uh, and then set how tight the tension is so that the blade doesn't slip. Okay, so this goes around and it's a little bit hard to move because I can't do the motor as well. Uh, you want to every now and again open it up and just make sure that we've cleaned out because uh, it does get loaded up with chips down here. Uh, when you're going to use the saw, you want to make sure because these really fine particulates are, again, they're almost like a powder. When you get powder on the floor, it can cause a slipping situation. So you want to make sure that there's not too much stuff built up down here. Don't be afraid to grab a broom and sweep it up before you get started here. You want to have a good firm stance so that you can push against this and not have any risk of falling and putting your hand into the blade. This is a, a blade guide right here, okay, because obviously this is all blade behind here. If this was open, there would be a, a very dangerous section here. There is a part right here that is fully exposed. You want your fingers nowhere near this area at any time, okay? Only when the saw is off, okay? When you are cutting, it obviously has to have something that's exposed. So it's very, very, uh, you gotta be cautious and make sure you keep your hands away from that. Now, not only is this exposed, up above here is also exposed down below. Um, there's a slight area underneath here where the blade can be uh, totally exposed. There's nothing covering it. And if you happen to reach under this table to get something, you could end up putting your fingers right into where that opening is where the blade is. So that becomes a very dangerous area as well. Okay, so we want to make sure that we're careful. We always want to check and make sure the guard down below here is on before we start using the saw, okay? Um, we have up here the on button to start the saw. We have the off button to stop the saw. On this particular model of saw, there is a blade welder attachment on the saw. You guys probably won't use this. Maybe you will, I'm not sure. We won't be using it now. Uh, but that would be what these other things are. It says welders, lamp, you know, that's just a light. Uh, there's some buttons down here that I want you guys playing with. Uh, there's a grinding wheel down here that I don't want you guys touching, okay? Little button to turn it on. It can become very dangerous, okay? It's a, not, not a pinch point because a pinch point only hurts. A grinder actually destroys your hand. So we want to stay away from that until we get proper training on how to use it. Okay, we have a blade cutter. So this thing here is just a sharp blade right here. You want to keep your hands out of there. You put your blade in here, and it cuts the blade in two, pe two, two pieces. Okay, and then we down here we have a variable speed drive to control how fast the blade is going. Again, the motor should be on whenever you're adjusting the speed on this saw. Okay. Uh, another thing that you want to keep in mind when you have this saw is that this is adjustable in height, okay? So over here, there is a small screw that locks this in the height wherever you set it. So when you're going to unlock this, you have to have your hand holding this because it will just fall all the way down to the table, and we don't want that to happen, okay? So I put my hand a little bit underneath just to catch it, and as I loosen it up, now this can go high if I was cutting a really big piece of stock, or I can go very low if I'm only cutting a very thin piece of stock, okay? The guys that are here, okay, want to be just set just higher than the piece of material that you're going to be cutting. This piece of material right here is probably about one-eighth thick. So the way I like to set it is I take my stock 
I lay it right at the blade on the table, and I let this come down till it touches it, and then I lift it up just about an eighth of an inch or less, and lock it in place. Now, I can cut this piece of stock, it's not going to interfere with my blade, and it's the safest distance that I can use to cut. Now, even though it's the safest distance that I can use to cut, it is not 100% safe because you can fit your hand in here still. So there has to be a certain amount of you being careful here or you can get hurt very badly, okay? So uh, make sure that when you go to cut that your hands are always placed outside of this guide or guard on both sides. I like to say that each hand should be at least two inches away from the blade. Minimum. You can go more, okay? But a minimum of two inches outside of the blade on both sides. You want to have your feet spread shoulders width apart and you want to be standing just leaning just a little bit forward. Get your hands at least two inches away on each side. You're going to make a cut through and then you're going to turn the saw off and you are not going to reach in to remove the material from that cut area until that blade has stopped moving. Okay? So that's pretty much how this piece of equipment works. Very flexible, very helpful piece of equipment. Um, I want you guys to get familiar with it, not be afraid to run it, but I want you to run it safely. Okay? So if you have any more questions about the saw, please ask any of the instructors out in the shop. We'd love to help you learn, and uh, we'll see you out in the shop.